with your full of tea. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. Clouds as lean as you ever seen. And a bird who knows your truth. Then a little voice inside you whispers. Hey Bulldogs, we've all heard about it, we've all seen it occur with other classes, and we are now all experiencing it. Senioritis. But what really is senioritis and how real is it? Senioritis is defined as a student's decline in performance and motivation during their senior year. My hypothesis is that I think this is all a hoax and it's all mental. We made sure to check up on seniors to get their input on senioritis. So senioritis is definitely very real. It's, I feel it's affected every single senior, in Braddock at least. And once a senior starts like, their education, they're just focused on their future, focused about leaving school, focused about college, and they're not, they're not really worried about the present. They're just like focused on getting out. So I feel like it affects everyone, and personally it's affecting me a lot. I'm just thinking about college, college, college. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna get it. It's inevitable, and you just have to deal with it, because even if you do get it, you're gonna graduate still. High school's not hard. Senioritis is pretty real. It's gotten to the point that I can't even wake up in the morning. Chances are I will, knowing me. I'm a very um, lazy person, so I probably will get senioritis. Yeah, definitely. I have a brother, his name is Josue. Shout out and he's got it really bad, and I think it's contagious. I'm already showing symptoms, and I, I just want to go home. Uh, you can't get rid of senioritis. You can only hope to contain it some. But uh, now senioritis, it's, it's a real thing. Uh, however, many of these kids, uh, not only are they, they're not just being completely lazy, they're busy with other things, work, uh, applications, SATs. So they might not be dedicating it to high school and those current classes, but um, they're definitely working on something. They're, they're using their energy somehow. Although senioritis seems to be inevitable, there are a number of methods that can be used to fight against senioritis, especially here at Braddock. This has been Vanessa Bonilla for BTV. Hey guys. Welcome back to Gabe and Matt's Good Old Kitchen. This time, we're going to teach you how to make a classic, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But without the jelly. But first, you're going to need some bread. Then you're going to need some peanut butter. And lastly, you're going to need a plate. And you're ready to go. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Make sure to coat the bread in a nice thick even layer of peanut butter. Then to wrap up the sandwich, you put both slices together. And here, we're adding our special ingredient. And you're all done. And 
And there you have it, guys. The best possible way to make a peanut butter sandwich. Hope you guys enjoy your sandwiches, and we'll see you at graduation. After all the recaps of the past, this is the last recap of how our high school years went for the class of 2019. The Junior Ring Ceremony took place on March 15, 2018. Our friends and families got the chance to see our first step into becoming upperclassmen by receiving our class ring. One of the highlights of Spirit Week in October was the homecoming game on the 4th where Braddock beat Coral Park 48-20, congratulating the players on another victory. The homecoming dance is a yearly event. It was an 80s themed dance that took place at the Hilton Miami Airport. The night was filled with singing and dancing to throwbacks and the announcement of homecoming king and queen, Javier Fernandez and Marcelo Ferran. The first senior activity of the 2018-2019 school year was the senior picnic at Zoo Miami on December 14th. Seniors enjoyed a buffet along with an adventure around the zoo, viewing the animals and the green scenery. On March 8, 2019, the seniors had their brunch at the Hilton Miami Airport. It was a semi-formal event with a photo booth that printed out memorable photo strips. April 5th was the thrilling night of Grab Bash. Our class had a wonderful and eventful time at both Universal and Islands of Adventure. Not only did they enjoy the rides, but also had a concert featuring a special guest, DJ Nasty. The seniors commemorated their last activity of the year at prom on May 3rd in Parajungle Island. The theme was The Great Gatsby where everyone dressed formal and looked very elegant. Prom King and Queen were announced so big congratulations to Lester Ulloa and Alice Martinez. Hope the class of 2019 enjoyed the prom weekend. Now it's on to the final step, graduation. Uh, college tips and tricks, don't take a class before 10.30, nothing on Fridays, and try and remain an individual. I absolutely do have some tips for you guys. Uh, my experience was great. Early classes are the best because everyone's still in bed asleep, so you don't have large numbers. Professors usually prefer that because it makes you a go-getter, right? The early bird gets the worm. Um, join as many clubs as you can, have a lot of fun, live it up. You only do it once in your life. Best of luck. My advice is to remain uh, true to themselves. Try to find your own soul and path. Um, study. Um, find your personality, intellectually speaking, and your personality spiritually uh, as well. Those are years that are going to define um, your life. Um, so it's a long, um, at the, same, at the same time, a uh, short trip. So enjoy every single day and do not just go with the flow. Uh, try to find your, your own uh, painting, your own uh, art that, that's going to be defined as your own personality in the future. Okay guys, you just spent four years in Cambridge working incessantly cramming with headaches and getting sick. So my advice to you for college is have a blast and don't get caught. Hey Ale, have you seen the new Snapchat filter, the baby one? Negative. Yo, let's go test it out the bulldog, let's take a selfie. All right. Yo, so right about Wow, we sure look ugly, man. Good thing we don't really look like that. I don't, I don't know, you kind of look the same.
What will you miss the most about Braddock? Um, the senior activities and my friends. I'm going to miss uh, my favorite teacher, Miss Monson. The relationships I build with faculty and friends. Um, I'm going to miss my friends, the basketball team, the crew, and teachers like Miss Frakes, Yano, and Miss Monson. I'm going to miss Cabezas. That's it, period. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm gonna miss uh, Server and JT. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Miss Monson. I'm gonna miss my boy Yago. <laughs> <laughs>